This is episode 5 in the Modern Shed Build series, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to frame the shed roof. In the last episode, we framed the shed walls, which determined our roof pitch. Our roof pitch is a measurement of rise over run, and our 212 roof pitch is going to be used to mark and cut our bird's mouth cuts. I tossed up 2x6s for my rafters to determine how much overhang I wanted at the front and back of the shed. After establishing my overhang, I marked the location for the bird's mouth cuts and made the cuts with a circular saw and a handsaw. After making the bird's mouth cut on the front and back of the rafter, I positioned it in place to make sure it was a good fit. After confirming fit, I use it as a template to cut all the rest of the rafters. Next up, I measured and marked my rafter spacing on the double top plate so that a rafter would be positioned between each sheet of plywood decking. We positioned all the rafters in place and then tacked them in with a nail gun and then installed hurricane ties for an even more secure hold. Next, we cut and installed blocking between each rafter and then we installed our fascia boards which overhang the sides of the shed by one foot. Next, we installed the side overhang rafters through the plywood decking on top and nailed the plywood to each rafter. Check out my free shed framing plan in the video description and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode.